here's a segment from a recent Gun Talk radio episode. You can listen to all the Gun Talk radio podcasts however you tune in, or check out guntalk.com for more. So what happens when two iconic companies in the firearms industry get together to combine, to improve, to make stuff better? Joining me right now is our good friend Chris Ellis from Timney Triggers. He's going to make the announcement here. How are you, Chris? Hey, doing fantastic. Thanks for having me on, Tom. I appreciate you it. You bet. Okay, let's let's just start off. Timney Triggers have been around for how long now? Uh, 77 years since 1946. Holy cow. And now you got this big announcement because one of my personal favorite rifles that I grew up shooting and still have a bunch of them is the Remington 700. And for those who don't know, they're saying, well, Remington went out of business. and so no, they're not making these guns anymore. You might just start them off with that. There is a Remington or a Rim Arms, and they are making Remington 700s these days, aren't they? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they're they're making 700s and 783s and eight. Yep, absolutely. Remington is back. Okay, so Remington, and I'm not going to badmouth them because we know what happened with the history of, but there was a history of some problems with some of the triggers on some of the 700s going back in history. And my answer has always been, well, you know, you had to fix that. You just put a Timney in there. So I guess Remington must have been listening to me or you or somebody. So you go ahead. You got the floor. Tell them what you guys did. Yeah, so uh, Remington reached out to us, wanted to know if we'd be a good partner and, and design a trigger, and we said absolutely. That's the only thing we do is build triggers. So, <laughs> you know, the Model 700 came out in 1962. We've been making aftermarket triggers since 1965. So we've been making a lot of Remington triggers for a long time. But it's pretty cool that the consumer, you, me, your listeners, they really wanted a, a, a Timney and a Remington 700, and by golly, that's what we did. So starting just a couple of days ago, all new Remington 700s come with a Timney. Oh, wait. All new Remington 700s coming from the Remington company now come with a Timney trigger. That's correct. Come, come standard with a Timney. So how, how cool is that? If you think about it, you being a, a lifelong hunter and shooter, and me too, and and the consumer spoke. That's what they wanted, and by golly, that's what we did. We listened to them, and we came out with a uh, an impact trigger that'll be in all model 700s. Now, our Hunter Elite trigger is in the Alpha 1 rifle in the police version, but all standard 700s will come with a Timney, and most of them will come with a, a new impact 700 from us. Okay, so what is the new impact trigger? Yeah, so if you look at if you know anything about Timney, we always try to, to bring it to, to market a good, better, and best trigger. So we hit all kinds of different price points, all kinds of different features. Our impact line is what we consider a good um, uh, trigger that comes from Timney. It's uh, set; it'll come to you set between three and four pounds from the factory. It's a good, clean, crisp trigger. It's absolutely. Well, we've talked about this. I set most of my mm-hmm. hunting guns at three and a half pounds, three to three and a half pounds. Uh, right. I'm like you. I have a ton of 700s, hunting with them my whole life. So this is exactly what the consumer's looking for is a good, clean, crisp Timney set at appropriate weights for hunting or, or target shooting. It's a good, good trigger to begin with. And it's also a good trigger with that 700. It marries just, just perfect for what that application generally is. Okay, so this trigger is not adjustable for for trigger pull or trigger weight, right? That's correct. It's non-adjustable. Uh, again, it's a good, clean, crisp trigger. And the cool thing about Timney is if you want one that's, that's two-stage or if you want one yep. that's for precision long range or if you want that, one that, that you can adjust yep. or, or, two, or, <laughs> or if you want a Calvin Elite that has all kinds of different features and benefits, we will sell you one of those too. But, you know, if you think about a good couple old, old, iconic companies coming together and bringing exactly what the customer's been asking for at a price point that they've been asking for, we delivered. So we are proud to be partners with Remington. You can go to our page or Rim Arms page, and there's a landing page that tells you all about the partnership and what we designed and why we designed it. It's just uh, like you said, in this day and age, just to be heard. And this is what the yeah. consumer was asking for. So I'm just... I'm just tickled to death that we listen. Let me ex- explain something to people. You, I know you know this, but I want to take the floor for just a sec. There are people who are saying, oh, man, it's not adjustable, wah, wah, wah. And, you know, I think, Chris, part of that comes from actually having triggers that may not have been as good as they should have been. 
Because if a trigger is good, it doesn't have to be light, does it? No, you just have it has to be dead, crisp, and repeatable. You can learn muscle memory from any trigger. Let me just break it down, hillbilly. If you want to hit the same place twice, the trigger's got to break the same way twice. That's just fact. So you can talk about poundage, and you can talk about all this other kind of stuff, which is which is a minute fun. I mean, it's fun. Trust me, it's sure. fun to fine tune oh, yeah. that firearm exactly where you want it. But you can learn with a good trigger and a three to four pound trigger is a good trigger as long as it is consistent. And that's why Tim's been around for so long is because our triggers and every platform we make them for are consistent and makes you more accurate with that platform simply because of the way we machine them and the tolerances and the fact that the only thing we do is build these same triggers over and over and over again so that when you get them into your firearm, you know what a Timney feels like. You can learn the the muscle memory really, really quick. And ultimately, Makes you more accurate, which is fun, right? Well, yeah, a year or two ago, um, I pulled the triggers out of all my 700s, the ones that didn't already have Timneys in them, uh, and replaced them all with Timneys because two things. I want them to be better triggers. Also, I wanted them to be trustworthy. I'm going to just say that out there. Uh, so, I mean, I've been a believer in Timney for a long time. I know it makes my gun shoot better. But, and let's do this. Let's bounce from that because this, this is not the only thing you guys are doing these days. You got triggers for ARs. You got triggers for everything. It seems like. Oh, uh, we, yeah, it's really neat. You know, been around for so long. People ask us all the time. We, you know, that's how we build all these triggers. We listen to our customers, and they say, "Hey, can you build a trigger for this?" And we'll be like, "Yeah, we'll, we'll look at it. It has to be number one. Has to be a Timney. Has to be easily installed. Number two, it has to be easily installed with common tools, right on a kitchen counter or a table, or whatever." And okay. second of all, it has to improve your performance or that platform. And if we can make a Timney do that, we'll bring it to market. That's why we got 175 SKUs or whatever now oh, uh, wow. is by listening to folks. And, you know, we were a bolt gun company for a long time, and then we were known for our AR, still are. We're known for our Glock triggers, our handgun triggers, our shotgun triggers. If we can make it feel like a Timney, we will. If we can't, I'm sorry, we won't. So That's interesting because there probably are. Was a, I, I bet there are guns you have looked at and said, yeah, we're, we're not going to do that because we can't really either improve on it or just the design of the gun doesn't lend itself to it. Well, our, our customers know what it, and you know what a Timney is. Thank, thank you for being a customer for all these years. So I can't fool you. We can't fool ourselves. If we can make it a Timney, we'll, we'll, we'll make it a Timney and look at that platform. You know, when I started talking about triggers, and I'm getting a little older now, but let's call it 19 years ago when I started talking about triggers, mm-hmm. we started talking about precision triggers and adjustable triggers and all that kind of stuff. You were talking to a very few small group of folks, of men and women, that kind of understood that importance. But think about it now, Tom. Now the customer is asking for a production rifle to come with a good trigger. How cool is that? Think about that. I, you know where that's coming from, I think. I'm just going to throw my, my idea out. I think the interest in long-range shooting and uh, precision shooting has grown, 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 and, and of course, there are people who are doing long-range hunting as well, but, but they know that they can't shoot. You can't hit long-range targets, whether it's steel or a critter, with a trigger that's not repeatable, and so you have this huge audience now, this huge market of people saying, I want something better than has been coming, than ha- I can get in a factory gun. Of course, now you can get a Timney in a factory gun. Is this the first time Timney's uh, been included as a factory trigger? No, uh, we have we have several partners, several OEM partners, you know, uh, many people. But uh, on on an iconic brand that's been around since 1816, this is the first time they stepped outside for a partner like this. It's a little different. So to answer your question, yes, but no. This is a little different partnership with one of the iconic brands that you and I grew up with. Well, most of us grew up with Remington. Sure. You know? um, so, yeah, it's just neat if I think about, you know, 18, 19 years ago when I was calling people about triggers and talking about triggers, of course, there wasn't that many trigger manufacturers back then, and there mm-hmm. wasn't that many people talking about triggers back then. You know, it was a kind of a hard sell. Ellis, you know every gun comes with one, and you've got to take the gun <laughs> apart to put a Timney in. And I've heard them all, Tom. I've heard yeah, them I bet, all over 19 years. So for me to be able to say, yeah, you know, in July 2023, now you can get your famed Remington iconic accuracy out of the box with a Timney. And I'm, I take great pride in that. That's it's been a, a fulfilling, well, fulfilling, you know, to me to talk about triggers this long, but also to see the consumer stand up and say, 
we really want that to come standard. And I well, think congr- that's a big congratulations. Thing. It's a big deal. And, you know, and like you said earlier, look, this is a great trigger. It's going to be fine for like 98% of the people. But if you said, okay, yeah, but I really want to have an adjustable. Not a problem. You, you, Timmy's got other triggers for you. You can pop that in too. Yeah, I mean, if, like I said, you want a two-stage or you want the high, high end, you know, with all the different features and stuff. That's the cool thing about that 700 platform is, you know, it's pretty easy to put a trigger in it. So and we sell a bunch of different ones for Remington. It's entirely up to you. But the point being is, this is a great trigger on a great gun at a great price point that I think is going to get the consumer. Well, first of all, they're going to feel heard. And thank you for getting the word mm-hmm. out there about triggers. And second of all, I think they're going to really enjoy this. I think everybody from the deer hunters to the elk hunters to the long range guys, I think, and to the new people to this to this yeah. sport we've been talking about. You know, you know, if you're talking about new people introduced, they're going to find a fine shooting rifle. Of course, ammo is much better now than it's ever been in my sure. my lifetime. Um, you just so you, you can just find said something. Great- you just said something that was interesting. I, w- I don't want to go over that. You said, I think people are going to enjoy this. And I think yeah. you're right. I think what happens is you're going to enjoy your shooting more. It's more pleasant. It's more comfortable. You're going to be more accurate. You're not going to struggle with the trigger. And I, I, I mean, you know how it is. Those of us who are really into shooting, I want to show somebody my new rifle. I you know, hand it to them, bolt open. They try it. And the first thing I say is, try the trigger. You know, it's like, you, you got to try the trigger. And they do, they go, oh, wow. That's when you know you're talking to somebody that knows about guns. They said, just, you got to try the trigger, man. Absolutely. Well, if they buy a new Remington, they're going to get the a Timney in it. If they have an old Remington and they want that impact trigger, we sell that to aftermarket right now so they could, don't feel like they mm-hmm. got left out. They can, they can get that trigger or any of our triggers, you know. But, again, I just thought about it the other day. I was driving down the road thinking, you know, all these years I've been talking about triggers, and at times I feel like I was the only one talking about them way back then. It's just <laughs> nice to see that they're in vogue. And I think a rising tide floats all boats in this situation. I think this is going to up the up the game for a lot of manufacturers, a lot of trigger folks to, ah. to come together and find good partnerships. You know, when the industry gets a little tight or a little slow or whatever you want to call it, it's the good partnerships that develop during that time with the smart people and the engineers mm-hmm. and the business folks that say, What's a good solution that the consumer's been asking for we can do right now? You know, when when the gun industry's flying high and you seem like you can't do anything wrong, you see those partnerships aren't necessarily that critical as they are at a time when it's a little slower. And, and I think right. right now this is good news for the entire industry. It's good news for the – basically for the cons- for the customers because, again, they're going to feel heard on this. A Remington 700 with a great trigger by Timney, this is going to be fun. Absolutely. Timmy Triggers is T-I-M-N-E-Y, TimmyTriggers.com. Chris, thank you. It's always fun, my friend. I appreciate you so much, Tom. Thank you. You take care. 866-TALK-GUD. Yes, I am a trigger snob. I admit it. There it is. But once you've gone to good triggers, you just can't go back. 